I just want to know. Dang it, I forgot. <laughs> Why is this so nerve wracking? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hey Anna, what was your first job in fashion? When I was a little girl, my father used to bring back the fashion papers of, of the paper that he edited because he knew I was very interested in fashion at the time. And he would ask my opinion and I would make suggestions. And his fashion editor was Susie Menkes. So I guess my very first job in fashion was editing the great Susie Menkes. Hi Anna, what's your favorite swimsuit? Emily, why are you asking me that question? You look amazing in whatever bathing suit you wear. I couldn't possibly choose one. Hey, Anna, what do you think about Cardi B's style? I was completely in awe of the stunning dress that Cardi B wore to the Met this year. She looked unbelievable. It was designed by Tom Brown. She could barely move, but it made no difference. I mean, people parted uh, like the queen coming through because she looked so fantastic and I had not seen her look as chic or as original beforehand so I have completely rethought my opinion of Cardi B's style. She rocks. Hey Anna, what do you wish you saw more of on the runway? Shows that started on time. What was your favorite fashion show of all time? My very favorite fashion show of all time was a show that John Galliano gave in a broken down, dilapidated, extraordinary mansion in Paris. And the collection was all black. John created every single look himself. And he'd been out of the public eye for a while. So it was very emotional for him and for everybody in the audience that he was having this comeback. And if you go to Vogue Runway, you'll be able to see this incredible collection for yourself. It was fall of 1994. Hi Anna, how do I still look stylish while going to school and having no time in the morning to do anything? Well, maybe you should get up earlier. I was wondering when you started to wear sunglasses as your signature look. To be frank, I can't honestly remember, but I am sure that it was before you started to wear yours. Hey Anna, so I wanted to know, what do you look for in an up and coming designer? First and foremost, you look for talent but you look for drive, you look for someone who is very focused on what their narrative is, what their point of view is, but also for someone who's willing to listen and to learn and to be open to the world around him or her, and someone who is not as concerned by looking to, to the left and to the right to see what other people might be doing. They have to, be open to the world, but be very sure of their point of view. And we meet a lot of young designers through the CFDA Vogue Fashion Fund, and we will always remember thinking that Jack and Lazaro from Proenza Schula, or Rodate from the West Coast, or Alexander Wang, had all those elements in their presentations to make us convinced that they would be the designers of the future. How do I stay stylish when it's so hot and humid in New York City during the summer? Uh, maybe sleeveless dresses? Hey Anna, I have a first date tonight. What should I wear? Well, obviously it depends on where you're going, but you look a lot like Camila Mendez, who wore an enchanting yellow Prabal dress to the Met this year, so maybe you might want to think about a touch of yellow. Hi Anna, do you still like to shop, and where and when do you like to shop? Well, unfortunately, shopping, which is something that I used to love, has been slightly ruined for me by people wanting to take selfies. So it has become a national obsession. And if you are in the makeup department thinking about which shade of rust li lipstick you might want to be buying that particular day and somebody is thrusting their camera right in front of you, it slightly destroys the moment. Hey Anna, do you ever wear sweatpants? No. Hey Anna, do you think you have to go to fashion school to be in fashion? I think it's a great help and a wonderful experience to go to fashion school, but there are examples of designers that have not done that, Karl Lagerfeld being a, a prime example. But I, I think they are few and far between, and I think if, it, if it's the career you're thinking about, you should choose school.